All right, guys, I'm Dan, this is Bucket List Fit, and I am bringing you another video right now from Texas this time. So stick around. Video today is beginner running tips, tips that I wish I knew when I first started running. So if you're interested in that, keep watching, because here it comes. I just want to say that everything that I'm going to mention in this video today it will be linked down below in a little more description. So if you're wondering about the tips or anything like that, just check them out. Check the apps. They're all down below, okay? All right, so let's go on with the video. Okay, so the first tip that I got to give you for new runners that want to start running is go right now. If you're inspired to run, just go and run, all right? Use momentum that you have built up right now. Use the, use the motivation that you have and just go. Don't wait, don't wait till you have the right pair of shoes, the right gear, the right place, the right plan. Just go and run right now. You don't have to go and kill yourself, but just start momentum and start going right now, okay? So that's the first tip, go right now. The second tip that I got for you is to avoid boredom. It can get pretty boring on runs, especially when you get longer and longer, so I would recommend making yourself a playlist, a running specific playlist actually, that stuff that really fires you up, that gets you going, things that aren't gonna be too boring, you know, make sure that it's long enough that, that your playlist doesn't run out while you're on your run and then you're just stuck with no music all of a sudden and then you gotta fiddle around with your phone, try to figure out the music to get back on. So make a playlist, if you're not into that, get find some good podcasts or find a good audio book, something like that, that's gonna keep you um, just in the zone while you're running. third tip that I would recommend if you are new to running is to run in short bouts. Okay, so I'm talking running for a minute, two minutes, that still counts as running, all right? So go go out for a walk, all right? Walk for five minutes, run for a minute, and then just repeat that a couple times. That's a great way to start running. It's gonna lower the chance of you getting hurt. It's gonna lower the stress of you thinking that you have to do this amazing job the first time you go and run. You know, just do short little intervals. It'll be awesome. It's gonna get you going. It's gonna keep the momentum. And before long, you're gonna be going even longer and longer and you're gonna be doing crazy stuff like marathons. Another tip I have is to remember the good moments. So once you start going out there and you're going for runs and you're hitting them, you're hitting your workouts and you're finishing them, remember those feelings. Even write them down if you have to, but remember the good vibes that you're getting because those feelings are gonna be the things that inspire you to go the next time out. Running cramps, muscle cramps, stomach cramps, stitches. If you get them, don't freak out about them and certainly don't freak about getting them if you haven't got them yet. All you have to do if you feel a stitch coming on is just walk for a minute. Tell yourself that's what you're gonna do if you do get one. So as soon as you're running and all of a sudden you feel that stitch come on, just walk for a minute, walk for two minutes and just breathe. Breathe right into the belly, expand your belly and it will go away, okay? That's, that's all you gotta do um, and you'll be back to running in no time. And a good way to avoid that is to make sure you haven't drank or ate too much right before you run. So I would say within two hours, really minimize and really focus on what you're putting in your body because that will affect how you feel on your runs. This next tip I do in every one of my runs and that is start slow. So especially if you're starting out right now, start every run slow. So that means walking for five minutes and when you start running, start off really slow, really easy, ease yourself into it. Your muscles are gonna thank you, especially on those longer runs. You're gonna give yourself a long time to really warm up and really warm up all those muscles. And you're gonna find that it's gonna work out all the kinks. And as you run, progress through your run, then you can start putting a little more effort in. Make sure you start off slow before every run. Rest a lot. Rest a lot. Like I'm talking more than you think. Especially when you're starting off, you shouldn't be running more than two or three times a week. And make sure when you're resting on those off days, you're actually putting your feet up. You're not going on crazy hikes and you get home from work, put your feet up on the coffee table, watch a couple TV shows, really rest those legs. It's very important to rest, especially when you're doing something you're not used to doing. Um, yeah, and if you do that, your body's gonna, your body's gonna thank you in the long run and you're just gonna be that much happier and you're gonna be able to run a lot more. So really focus on resting on those off days. 
Uh, the next tip is running on certain types of terrain. So obviously there is pavement, there's concrete, there's grass, there's dirt, there's track, there's indoor, there's treadmill. You can run on lots of different terrain, but I would recommend if you can, running on grass. That is by far the best to run on. Second, uh, dirt trails if they're not too bad. Um, and even if you're in the city, what I used to do when I lived in the city, I don't live in the city now, as you can see, I'm in a truck and a trailer and we're just kind of traveling over the US. But when I used to live in the city, I used to try to find the little strip of grass right beside the sidewalks. And I would make a game of trying to stay on that grass as much as possible. Obviously there'd be some blocks where I wouldn't be able to do that. And then I would just have to jump across and keep finding that. So that's a good little tip to try to stick on as much grass. But either way, no matter what, um, really think about landing light and having quick feet. And that's gonna go a long way to preventing uh, overstress injuries and really just minimizing the amount of pounding that happens to your body. Another great tip and something that I've wished I implemented into my training much, much earlier is adding in just a little bit of core. Like don't stress yourself out about thinking you have to do this crazy uh, core program that takes hours and hours every week. Like if you have no time at all, I still recommend just doing simple plank, side plank, straight plank, just doing a minute uh, of each one of those things a couple times a week will go a long way for your running It's gonna tighten up your core. It's gonna tighten up everything So when you're landing there's gonna be a lot less balance and you're just gonna be a lot more stable Being more stable means being less hurt less pain And the last tip I have for new runners right now is just when it comes to form now You don't need to stress yourself out and think you need to have perfect form but it is a good idea to think of one or two things while you're running. Not too many more things than that or you'll just get confused. So the two things I would recommend while you're running is having a chest up and driving your arms straight back, all right? So none of this cross and stuff. You can have a little bit of arm movement, but really think about driving that elbow straight back as you run and really having that chest proud and high. And when you do that, it's gonna line up your body properly. So you're not gonna be wasting energy you're not going to be twisting where you shouldn't be twisting and it's also going to minimize the amount of knee pain that you have so, so those were just some tips for new runners uh, hopefully these things help you out and you get out there and enjoy your runs thanks a lot for watching if you're interested in these types of videos be sure to subscribe because this is what this channel is all about helping new runners run better all right so thanks a lot for watching see you later guys for apps i would recommend getting an app especially if you don't already have a running watch get either runtastic or strava either one i personally use strava just because i find it it's, a, it's just a better community aspect but the perks of having either one of those apps is you're gonna have a you're gonna be able to set it every time you run it'll tell you how far you've gone it'll tell you your pace it'll tell you uh, how much you've ran that week when you go on to the websites and look at it it's a really great thing to look at how much training you've done it keeps track of it all so you'll see the progression that you're making so either one of those apps they have free versions i know strava is free so i would recommend either one of those apps i personally use strava but it doesn't really matter